What's going on guys, Oz here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are reviewing the new Footies SBC player that EA has just released and it is going to be a certain someone that actually hasn't had a special card this year and it's going to be Gelson Martins to review today boys and girls. For me personally, I feel like this guy should have had way more special cards this year. Way, way more. Like, him him at the start of the year, his gold card was an absolute beast. His pace was amazing. His dribbling was amazing. His skill moves was amazing. The only thing that slacked on that gold card was definitely his shooting ability. Now, as you clearly can tell, I don't think that's going to be a problem with this card right here. Because I'm looking at 93 shooting with 99 pace, 99 dribbling, 88 passing, and the 83 physicals as well. Looking at, looking like an absolute beast and is obviously the card he definitely does deserve this year. Now when it comes down to his height, he is a 5 for 8 player with high high work rates, 5 star skill moves and a 4 star weak foot. Now when it comes down to the chem style, there's one chem style that is the definition of perfection for this card. And it is going to be the marksman chem style simply because it picks out pretty much all the stats that need upgrading. He needs an upgrade to the finishing, there you go, here's 99 finishing. He needs an upgrade to the long shots, here you go, here's 99 long shots shots there's an upgrade to the penalties there's an upgrade to the reactions there's an upgrade to the strength and the jumping as well so yeah for me personally marksman chem style is the way to go now the guy's got maxed out pace which is kind of expected right so he's got 99 acceleration with 99 sprint speed now the shooting ability just look at it 98 attacking positioning 99 finishing 99 shot power 99 long shots 98 volleys with a 92 penalties as well has he got any shooting traits he does he he has the outside foot shot trait, which is a pretty good trait this year. It was obviously better last year, but, you know, we'll still take it. It is what it is. But the shooting looks simply unreal. Now, the passing ability, he has got 90 vision, 91 crossing, 72 free kick accuracy, 90 short passing, 81 long passing, and a 91 curve. 91 curve, sorry, 98 curve. Now, the thing about the passing ability, right, is the long passing doesn't look top tier. But because the vision is actually 90, I feel like those LBYs across the pitch most likely are going to work. Now, the dribbling ability, there's only one stat that is a 99, and it's the reactions being 96. If this guy doesn't feel like an absolute god on the ball... I really don't know what to say. Now, moving on to the physicals. He has got 99 jumping, 99 stamina, 81 strength, and the 88 aggression as well. I actually like to see this card of a decent amount of strength. Like, 81 strength, well, obviously, this other stats is going to be, like, a nice combination to actually have. Now, when it comes down to the links, you got Ronaldo. You got everyone from League 1. So, you got Neymar, Mbappe. You got so many good links that you can actually get with this guy. But for me, personally, I've just gone for icons because why not? I've got my boy Moments Dalglish and my boy Moments Vieira to get him on full chemistry. Now, when it comes down to the positions, I'm going to be trying this guy, I would say, in two positions. I'm going to be playing him in a striker position in a 4-4-2. I low-key want to try this guy in a cam position as well, just to see how good he's actually going to be there. So I'll play him in a cam position in a 4-2-3-1. So let's get into the games. Ronaldo, pass it down. There you go. Use that pace. See if you can maybe get in behind. Keep in mind, that is a... Hold up. Hold up a second. No, I've actually screwed up the opportunity, have I? I have screwed up the opportunity. I'm really impressed, by the way. The fact that he actually got round team of the season, Varan, that easy. El Shirai, pass it. Nice. That was a good run. Really good run. Look at this guy's pace. RBA. Simple RBA across. What's happening? What is happening right now? You can tell, though, the pace is going to come into play very nicely when trying to get him in behind. Coach Jones, give it to him. There you go. Good scoop turn. Fake shot this. I'm going to smack it all the way up. Is it going to be a perfect pass? It is not going to be a perfect pass. It is going to be slightly off. And that's kind of disappointing because... Yes, he has got 81 long passing, but for me personally, because the vision is quite high, I thought those kind of passes would be a bit more accurate, but it seems like it's not. Ronaldo, pass it through the middle, continue running. We're going to go for that fake shot, ball roll. Give me the angle to go for the cross goal finish, and we are going to go ahead and get it. It was a nice little cutting run by him to actually give me that passing option as well. Ronaldo, go for a quick turn. Go for that dummy. Flick it around the corner. Use that pace. Keep it going. Ball roll around the keeper. And the keeper actually comes out clutch. I thought I did that perfect. I thought that ball roll was literally spot on. And we had a guaranteed goal. Clearly not though. Vieira pass it. Come on, get onto it. Get onto it. There you go. Ball roll just to keep it in play. Hill to hill. No. That could have been our second goal. He did so well, by the way, to actually keep that ball on the pitch. And even the hill to hill after was spot on. It was just a finish. Maybe I should have hit that towards a near post. 
Curtis Jones, pass it. First time LBY all the way over to Dalglish and it's actually a perfect pass. Give it to him here. Wait for it. Go for the scoop turn. I'm waiting for him to kind of commit. There you go. That's, you see that footwork? I'm focusing up, boys. I'm focusing up. Can we get this goal? I feel like Chain Skill Moves is going to come into play. We got it. We got it. Mm -hmm. Questionable, though. I must admit, for a second there, I did actually feel like Varane was going to get in the block. But you can clearly tell his dribbling ability, all these skill moves coming into play is really, really nice. Give it to CR7. Back to Curtis. That's a nice run. Should we go for a directional with the extra fake shot to get that near pose angle? And we are going to get it. I'm really impressed, by the way, with his finishing ability. Like, you can really tell the shot power is coming into play. And the accuracy, where he places the shot, it doesn't give the keeper any chance of actually saving it. Give it a dog leash here. Just go forward. Nice ball roll. Good first time fake shot as well. Can I get around the keeper? That was the plan. As soon as I saw him bring out the keeper slightly, I knew if I did the hill to hill, it would give me like a better angle and the keeper would pretty much be in like no man's land. And it looks like this guy's paused it and he's most likely going to be out of it. I'm just going to continue running with El Shari here. Cut in early. Can we play that pass? We are going to be able to do it. We hit him with the directional nutmeg. He's moved the keeper across goal. I saw that and I hit it towards the near post. Not a complicated goal at all. Just quite simple. RB8 in defeat. Come on now, I'm going to see if I can hit him with that wide ball. This could be perfect, or is it just going to be offside? It's not going to be offside. It's literally going to be a spot-on through ball. You can tell this guy's pace is extremely good. And you saw how easy it actually was to me to get him in behind. I triggered the run. Next thing you know, I just instantly through ball, and he's onto it. Slide tackle that. There you go. Get stuck in. Dummy that from El Sharari. Can I play that wide ball in behind? Just stay calm. Hill the hill. I, I kind of... Oh, my. I didn't expect that to work. I'm going to say it straight up. I did not expect that to work. But we take those. I could have sweated it. But, you know, we're in August. I don't really want to sweat the ball. Double way into his feet. I'm going to wait. Because I see an LBY opportunity. I wanted that fake. That one going down is an absolutely insane. Insane pass literally spot on to Dalglish and after that it was pretty much put on a plate for him and it's gonna be a good finish across goal this is what I mean man like sometimes the long passes is like that but then other times it goes off the pitch simple fake shot oh we get lucky we get so lucky to actually continue getting that ball play that through ball take the touch he's got Alaba we cut into the inside very easy beautiful dribbling can we get the power shot I tried to go under the keeper's legs because I didn't really see any other angle and we end up missing the opportunity. But really nice close quarter dribbling by him right there. Give it to him. There you go. Keep it going. Keep it going. Maybe pass the CR7 through the gap. Continue making your run so I can play it back to you. That is beautiful. But right there is where you see his strength actually come into play. Is a player that's going to have like 90 strength going to get pushed off that? No chance. But because he hasn't got, you know, amazing strength, He's going to get that time to time. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing two games with Gelson Martins. We actually went ahead and scored seven goals while also getting ourselves a single assist as well. Now, I told you guys I was going to be playing this guy in a striker and cam position. And that's exactly what I did. It's just the thing is, me seeing his passing ability in that cam position not being like the most consistent thing, it kind of, you know, threw me off a little bit. So for me personally, if you want to use this guy, to his full ability, I would say use him in a striker position or down the line. He's going to be amazing there. It's just in the cam position with the passing he has, I feel like, especially this late in the FIFA, it's not the most acceptable thing. Let's just put it that way. Now, when it comes down to the pricing, I'm not 100% how much he actually goes for. Simply because I usually get my pricing off footbin. And they haven't added all the squads together and gave like a total price. So I had to do it, you know, individually. And I think I calculate it to around 150k to 200k. If that is wrong and it goes for like 250k, it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. For the, pri for the price of like 250k, it will still be worth it. The links he has is simply unbelievable. And obviously the ability he has is simply unbelievable. So yeah, for me, even if it's 250k, it's still worth it. But let's get into the ratings. Pace-wise, he was extremely, extremely fast. You saw how easy it was to him to actually get in behind. So for the pace, it is going to be a 10 out of 10. Shooting ability. I will say right now, I don't think his shooting is as good as someone like a 99 Neymar or even a 99 CR7. So it's not going to be a 10 out of 10. 
but it's close. It is very close because there were certain things I thought he may not, you know, put on target or may not even finish. And all of a sudden, it's hitting like the bottom corner. So for the shooting, I am going to go ahead and give him a 9.7 out of 10. Passing ability... This is what I mean, man. This is where it becomes a little bit questionable because the short passing is perfectly fine and the long passing isn't bad at all. It's just, it's not the most consistent thing. There's going to be a lot of occasions where it's just going to go out of the pitch. So for the passing, I am going to go ahead and give him an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Now the dribbling ability, I don't think he feels as good as like a Neymar. I'm going to say that straight off. I don't feel like he feels as good as someone like a Tao. So I'm not going to go ahead and give him a 10 out of 10 when it comes down to the dribbling. But it's going to be close. Very close. It's going to be a 9.8 out of 10. And for the physicals, I did enjoy his strength a decent amount. I thought, personally, 81 strength might be a little bit too low. So, you know, with the centre-backs slash full-backs we're, we're playing up against now, they'll probably body this guy every single time. But they gave him... they he, This guy actually gave him a run for the money, which is really, really surprising. But it was other occasions where, you know, you could tell that he was just completely getting bodied. So for the physicals, I am going to go ahead and give him an 8... I would say like an 8.4, an 8.4 out of 10, but an overall rating out of 10 for the Gelson Martinez, not Martinez, sorry, Martins footies card, it is going to be, oh, he deserves a high one. I'm going to give him a 9.8, a 9.8 out of 10. He's an unbelievable card. It is simple as that. And if you can fit this guy into your team, go ahead and get him. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.